Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about IV curve tracing, which is a very important test being performed in solar farms. I will discuss some concepts like performance factor, field factor, as well as the interpretations of trace deviations. But before we start, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe and notification bell so you will be updated of my upcoming videos. Let's begin! IV curve tracing is an effective way of identifying underperformance of PV systems, especially in large installations like utility-scale solar farms. Underperformance of PV systems may be due to expected reasons like soiling losses or long-term degradation of the PV modules, or it may be due to some unexpected reasons like burnt connections, cracked or broken modules, among others. Before performing IV curve tests, Determine the type and quantity of modules that are connected in the string. This information and other data are entered into the software, and the PV installation structure is created usually in the form of systemization tree. The software uses this information to calculate expected performance characteristics, such as short circuit current, ISC, current at maximum power point, IMP, open circuit voltage, VOC, voltage at maximum power point, VMP, and maximum power point, PMP, at standard test conditions or STC. Standard test condition means the conditions set in the factory when testing the modules such as the radiance, air mass, and ambient temperature. But because the conditions in the field where these modules are going to be installed is different from the STC, IV curve tracers uses mathematical models to account for the actual conditions in the field and generate a predicted IV curve and maximum power value for the string under test. To use IV curve tracing to identify underperformance in commercial or utility skill installations, test is generally done in combiner boxes. The combiner box under test must be electrically isolated from the rest of the other combiner boxes in the system. This is done by locking and tagging out the isolator of combiner box in accordance with the isolation procedure in place. Install the irradiance meter on the plane of array and attach the temperature sensor to the back of the representative panel. Once the combiner box is tested for dead, remove the fuses from each of the positive strings in the combiner box. Using a proof type alligator clips, connect the test leads of the IV curve tracer to the positive and negative bus bars. Make sure that there is enough irradiance before performing tests. Required irradiance is typically above 700 watts per square meters. Perform tests on each string by inserting the fuse to the string under test and pressing the test button on the tracer. Each test lasts for about 10 seconds but may vary depending on some factors. The test results are captured and saved electronically through the software. If a string under test is performing normally, the IV curve has a normal shape and will closely approximate the predicted maximum power. Otherwise, the IV curve will have some deviations from the normal curve. The degree of how well the measured IV curve agrees with the predicted IV curve is known as the performance factor, expressed as a percentage. The equation to calculate performance factor is PF is equal to measured PMP divided by predicted PMP times 100%. In general, if the IV curve test returns a normal shaped curve and has a performance factor of between 90% and 100%, it is an indication that the string is performing correctly, that is, not severely soiled or shaded. Because IV curve test does not always return normal curve, we will discuss different types of deviations from the normal curve and its causes. The first type of deviation is the stepped IV curve. When stepped IV curve is observed, check if the panels are partially shaded. Remove obstructions or perform tests when unshaded. If there is random soiling, leaf litter or bird droppings, clear modules, and retest. Also, check for crack cells or glass, as well as burnt marks. The second type of deviation is low short circuit current or ISC. This can be caused by the following. First is operator error. It is easy to make mistake in selecting the type of module from the database of the test equipment. 
In this case, the nameplate specifications of the string under test will not match those the IV card tracer uses as a model to predict the performance. Second possible cause is irradiance measurement issues. This is a common cause of error during IV card tracing when the irradiance meter is not installed properly on the plane of array or when the test is performed when there is low irradiance below the recommended level. Third cause of low ISC is uniform shading or soiling or even module performance issues. When the ISC is relatively lower than that of the strings from the adjacent arrays, check if there is uniform soiling on the PV modules. Clean and retest. Also make sure that there is no strip shading, which is common to tilt up arrays with closely spaced rows. Failure of bypass diode on the PV modules is also a cause of low ISC. The third type of deviation is low open circuit voltage or VOC. When IV curve test returns low VOC, check if the temperature sensor is connected properly to the back of the representative module. There is inverse relationship between cell temperature and VOC. If the temperature sensor is not connected properly, the measured temperature will be lower and the predicted VOC will be higher than that of the measured curve. Pinched or grounded string conductor returns low VOC during test because it essentially shortens the length of the series string under test. The fourth type of deviation is a curve with rounded knee. It is most likely caused by the aging process of the modules. This can be identified by monitoring the string over time and track trends. The fifth type of deviation is low voltage ratio. Voltage ratio is the ratio between the voltage at maximum power point, VMP, divided by the open circuit voltage, VOC. It is characterized by the lower than expected slope in the vertical portion of the curve when compared to the curves of other strings. Some of the likely causes of low voltage ratio are undersized PV source circuit conductors, resistive interconnection, or module degradation. The sixth type of deviation is low current ratio and is characterized by higher than expected horizontal portion of the IV curve. It is calculated as the current at maximum power point, IMP, divided by the short circuit current, ISC. Low current ratio is more likely caused by the degradation of cell shunt resistance, which occurs as the modules age. This may require module replacement. One of the indicators of the performance of the PV system is the fill factor. It is a measure of how efficient the PV module is in converting sunlight to electric power. It is calculated by the equation fill factor FF is equal to power at maximum power point, PMP, divided by the quantity ISC times VOC, being a ratio values range between 0 and 1. And that's it for today's video and I hope you find it useful. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like and notification bell. Thank you very much and God bless.